Sophia Salome and loves Marhaba Habibete. I want to talk to you guys today about, as you can probably guess from the title, <laughs> my new lash extensions. So if you've been watching for a while, not even a while, for the last couple weeks, you know this was something I was thinking about. I asked you guys for your feedback because I was curious um, and I went out and got them last week. So today when I'm filming is Sunday. I got these on Wednesday um, and I have my thoughts on them that I wanted to share with you. Uh, the short answer is I love them so, so, so much. And I'm so glad I got them. But I will say that everything you guys told me was true. So I think depending on what you want and your preferences and your sensitivities and the way you wear makeup and the way you wash, like there's depending, I, that's why I kind of wanted to make the video is because I think um, I kind of wanted to walk you through the process, the pros, the cons, the reasons I love them, the reasons you might um, not that kind of thing. So, um, I went in, how, where should I start this? At the beginning, somehow? <laughs> um, lash extensions is something I've kind of always thought about in the back of my mind. I'm the girl that wears like two to three different mascaras at a time and like always at least three coats of it. I want like so much drama in my lashes. Um, and if I'm wearing false lashes, I'm wearing like full on, full on, drag queen lashes. Um, I have no time for like natural false lashes if I wear them. I just, because I wear glasses so many of the time to get it to stick in the glue and it was just becoming frustrating and not a daily thing I could do, right? The, the false lashes. Maybe if I kept practicing, I would get there, but I didn't have the patience for it. So I'd always thought about lashes in the back of my mind. And we were watching a video, I was watching a video on YouTube with my sister the other night and um, someone's video came on and they were talking about fillers and Botox and the things that they were doing um, in like beauty adjacent fields that made them happy. And I'm a firm believer in like, it's your body. <laughs> Whatever you wanna do, as long as you're not harming anyone and as long as it's within your budget and within your means, go for it, right? But the question came up from my sister, it's not but, that's one thought. Second thought, <laughs> the question came from my sister, would that be something you ever did? And I said, like, I would never say never. I never say never to most things. Um, but I told her I have such a fear of needles that I don't think I could do it. I also am scared of something that I have to kind of live with for like three, four months. Um, what if it goes wrong? What if it hurts? What if it doesn't sit right? Um, and so she was like, well, what are things that you might do? And I was like, well, lash extensions. Cause I feel like even if I didn't like them, I could just take a lot of oil-based cleanser and rub and rub and rub. And they would eventually like get off my eyes within that, that evening, right? Um, and then I kind of started to think about it more and and sort of at the same time, um, a friend of mine, I like noticed on Instagram, I was like, oh yeah, she started doing lash extensions. I should go check her out. Um, so anyways, I think my first tip is if you're thinking of doing them, I would highly recommend trying to find a friend or a friend of a friend who does them out of her house um, because it's a lot cheaper. So I paid $100 for my full set like for my, yeah, for my full set. And the cheapest I saw it at like a good um, salon was like 250. So in terms of just like on a financial basis, it's, I think personally, nicer if you can find someone who does it at either own home because there's less of an overhead and so they can bring that price down. So I went in and I, she knows me and she's like, we're all gonna be about the drama. I was like, yeah, I want kind of full on. I want something fluffy. I want it nice and long. So she used 13s, like the length of 13s. Uh, and we did mostly what she calls fancies. So classics are literally when you just take one and you put it on top of the lash. Fancies, I guess that's the way she calls them, but I think there's different ways to, that they're named, is you'll take three to five and you'll like make them into a V shape and then put that on so it gives you even more volume. I had so many lashes that at the end she was adding just a couple classics because we were there for two hours um, and she still didn't quite get all of them. I love the way they look. I think for like an everyday, and I know this is probably a lot for some people for every day, but for me, for an everyday, these are great. Um, I'm gonna go, I think I'll probably go to get mine filled every two weeks because I'm so picky about like, I start, I've start. i started seeing a little bit of gapping here and I'm like, uh, I want them to be perfect, perfect. So I think probably for me, I'll go every two weeks to get them filled, but because I'll be on vacation in two weeks time, I'm going next week to get them filled. Um, and when I go next time, I'm gonna get them a little bit more volume um, heavy because I'll be on vacations. I want to kind of try them even more above them. So I'll like post pictures so you guys can see what it looks like when they're even um, more voluminous. 
Uh, she was saying generally people that she's seen, like her clients, will go two to three weeks between fills. I've read online that people can go up to four. I think it depends on how um, full you go with your lash, right? Like if you're super, super full on, any gaps are gonna be quite noticeable. If you're going for more of a classic look, like a more nat natural look, you could probably spread out the time of your fills um, accordingly. And fills are, um, the cost of a fill, at least with the girl I go see, depend on um, how long you're there, right? Because it's a time-based thing. Anyways, um, what was I gonna say? Those are the fills. In terms of when you get it done, I don't know why I thought I was gonna be a lot more uncomfortable, like not in pain, but uncomfortable while she was doing it, and it wasn't uncomfortable at all. I mean, the worst part was I didn't listen to her when she's like, take your ponytail out because it's gonna hurt your neck. I was like, no, I'll be fine. Yeah, by the end of it, my neck was so sore. So that was probably the mo most painful part. Um, as you've probably seen on pictures online, what they do is they usually put like a little, you know those like shadow, um, protectors that like the half moon shape that usually stick under your eyes if you're doing like a dark color so you don't want fallout so they stick it actually i didn't realize but they stick it to your bottom lashes and then stick that down so that that part doesn't move and then so there's a white canvas so that your top lashes have something that they, they the artist can kind of see what she's doing because my bottom lashes are so long she actually just used medical tape and taped that area down and it also created a much straighter canvas for her to work on and then it's glue and tweezers as as they go on to do them um I, when I got home, um, my eyes stung a little bit from the glue as the glue is, is drying. Like nothing crazy, my eyes sting a lot of the time, but there was a bit of a sting. Um, and what they tell you is kind of for the first couple hours, don't go to hot yoga, don't wash your face, like don't get water on them, they need a couple hours to dry. So I really enjoyed doing it at night, like I'd cleansed before I'd gone in and then I just kind of went to sleep and the next morning I was good. Now I, was gonna film this like the second day I had them on, but I was like, I should probably wear them for a couple days. What happened to me, and this is the only time where I felt irritation, was I woke up and I noticed that there was a lash in the bottom, like my bottom lashes, that was stuck to the glue at the top. So the, the, the corner of my eye was really, really sore the first day until I figured out what was going on. I ended up just actually plucking it out um, and then I was totally fine. I can't feel them, like they don't feel heavy. They don't feel like they're constricting my vision. But then again, like I'm used to wearing full on lashes. So I think depending on how well you do with lashes and how full fake lashes you wear, I think that'll affect um, how uncomfortable you might be uh, with, with extensions. What was that I think someone told me? Yeah, about the fills. Like I said, I think, you know, having to go in all the time to get them filled, the financial and the time implication of that. Um, I found someone that I really like that fits my budget. I think the only point at which I will probably not continue wearing lash extensions is when I start getting, getting lazy. Um, because you do have to go in often to get them kind of, of done up. Um, at the point at which I just get lazy or she stops taking um, people, I think that's what I'll probably bow out, but it, it is a fact. So if it's something that you're willing to do, like I'm, I have a schedule for my brow maintenance. I now have a schedule for my lash maintenance, so it doesn't bother me, but that is something to keep in mind. Um, you also may have a sensitivity to the glue. So that's something that would prevent you from having them. I thankfully have not. There's different glues that different people use. So you can always try around in case that is an issue. Um, but there's that. You also can't, um, so some people like wearing mascara, which to me seems like a foreign concept, but hey, I mean, the kind of lipstick I wear <laughs> that might seem like a foreign concept to some people. You don't really wanna put a lot of mascara on them because you can't use an oil-based cleanser on your eyes. Um, and the mascara kind of ruins the false lash. So if you're someone that enjoys the practice of wearing mascara, they don't think extensions are for you. Um, and when you are washing your face, you just have to be careful not to get your oil-based cleanser around your eyes. So I still use oil-based cleanser on my face. And I've actually, strangely enough, felt that because I now have to avoid my eyes, I've been doing a lot more of the like dampening a, a washcloth and like actually washing my face that way versus with my hands. And I feel like my face has been getting cleaner. I know the damp washcloth is something that Caroline Hirons raves about, but I, I was always lazy with it. Now I have to stop and do it that way. And I feel like my face is cleaner. But again, if you're the kind of person that really likes to get in there and rub your eye makeup off, then it's not gonna be for you. Um, I think when I was wearing a lot more intense eyeshadow, yeah, it, it's gonna deteriorate your lashes. Cause even if you're not wearing, um, even if you're not using an oil-based cleanser to remove your eye makeup, if you do really need to get in there and scrub a lot, you are gonna kind of 
bring a couple of those extensions out with it. But because recently, if you watched my Get Ready With Me earlier this week, um, because I haven't been into super heavy eye makeup, um, because I haven't been about a lot of heavy eye makeup recently, um, it's been perfect. Like it's been exactly what I wanted. I also, okay, this can sound really stupid, but they make me feel like a Disney princess. <laughs> like they really do. Um, and I love waking up and like having false fluttery lashes on. And I don't know, they've just been bringing me a lot of joy. So I think a lot of the things that you guys warned me about, I am really thankful for because at least I knew that going in. Like I knew I was gonna have to maintain them. I knew that I had to be careful washing my face. I knew that there was potential for irrit irritation. Um, but I, I love the look they give me so much and I don't have, I thankfully don't have the irritation. So all the other things I'm willing to deal with. So I think what I went in thinking, which is either you either love them or hate them kind of still stands true in my mind. I think you will either really, really enjoy them or you won't. Um, but I wanted to give you all the points. Like this is a ridiculously long video, <laughs> but I wanted to give you all the points so that if you were thinking about it, you kind of had a frame of reference as well. So yeah, I will, like I said, I will post pictures when I get them done up more dramatic with the next fill and um, we'll go from there. Any questions that I didn't address, comments, your experiences with them, all those kinds of good things, leave those down below. And yeah, I'm gonna do some quick points positivity when we'll be done. My first is my which make me so happy. My, my second is this lipstick, which is Hidden Desires by LA Splash. And the third is just a nice chill morning, which I'm like finally getting caught up on some things and on life, which has been great. Anyways, as always, if, not if, please let me know what has been making you guys smile recently. I will talk to you soon. But before I leave you, as always, let me remind you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye guys.